as we come together this morning, let's just take a moment to take some deep breaths. Give some extra love to yourself for taking this time this morning for some sacred time with God. And in our pausing, we remember that God tells us what is good and what is required of us to walk humbly with God in all times and places. Let our hearts be humbled in these next few moments of prayer and devotion so that we may hear anew God's desire for us. We hear scripture from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 38 through 40. Hear now the reading of the Holy Word. Jesus replied, You don't know what you're asking. Can you drink the cup I receive or receive the baptism I receive? We can, they answered. Jesus said, You will drink the cup I drink and receive the baptism I receive. But to sit at my right or left hand isn't mine to give. It belongs to those for whom it has been prepared. May God bless the hearing of the Holy Word to our own understanding. Amen. Let's think about that scripture this morning. With great power comes great responsibility. Anyone familiar with the Spider-Man comics will know that principle. James and John, it seems, are only after the power part. They have forgotten or simply don't realize that with power and glory often comes responsibility and suffering. They are ready to drink the cup that Jesus drinks, not aware that his is a cup of humility, servanthood, and obedience. Like many, James and John have their own ideas about what it means to follow Jesus. Like many, they have no clue that following Jesus will often ask more of us than we expect. Jesus thankfully never sugarcoats what the life of discipleship is like. You will, at times, have to give up much for my sake. Yet, we can also trust that whatever we are asked to give has already been given by Jesus. Jesus never asks us to do things he himself is not willing to do. Jesus models the humble life of service and obedience for us, and then binds us to do the same. If you pray with me. Almighty God, your power is unmatched in the universe, and yet you reveal it through acts of humble service. When I seek power, remind me that for you, true power and glory are found in simple acts of love and compassion. Amen. And as we prepare to go from this place this morning, remember, servant of God, that you are loved, you are holy, and you are worthy. Now go in peace, in humility, in joy, and in love to serve the Savior who humbled himself for you. Go in peace.